Great, thank you. Um, uh, the first bit you wanted really, really well. And it's nice to see that because it's, it's a kind of standard thing now. We expect to have to do this, we expect to be good at it. Three sine theta plus four plus theta. We know the way that this works. We're going to write it as being r sine theta cos alpha plus r cos theta sine alpha. And then we're going to compare our uh, terms on either side. We've got the sine theta there and there. So r cos alpha is 3, because they're the things that are multiplying sine theta, the coefficients of sine theta on both sides. Compare the coses, cos theta is multiplied by 4 over there, and by r sine alpha over there. So r sine alpha equals 4. We need to eliminate alpha from this, so we're going to square and add. Um, so r squared would be 5 squared. So r equals 5. We're rejecting the minus 5 uh, because, of course, it is um, r greater than 0. Question? Are you right, Dan? Yes. I know you get r squared equals 5 squared. I know it does, but... OK, well, if, if, we, if we square these two lines and add them... No, it's fine. OK. okay. Five, yeah. 25. Yeah, you thought you'd write 25 equals r squared. Well, Not r squared equals r squared. Square bits. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the purpose of the video. <laughs> For the purpose of the video, okay, right. For the purpose of the video. <laughs> video which now is a long period where we discuss the purpose of the video in the middle of it. Oh, we'll stop discussing it. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm just doing it for a reason. Right, so we've got our squares to find now equals five. Good. <laughs> right. We need to find alpha as well. Uh, we've got cos alpha. Go meets maths. Both of those, we would do inverse cos of 3 fifths, inverse sine of 4 fifths. It was 53.1, was that right? So we've got um, 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta is 5, what was it, 5 sine theta plus, have I done this right? 5 sine theta plus 53.1. There we go. And that, that was quite, you <coughs> should be getting three marks for that. Now, hence, solve the equation. So, we're going to take the hence bit. Part A, the equation, if we rearrange that slightly, it says 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta equals minus 1, doesn't it? Because we take 1 to the other side. So, we're going to write 5 sine theta theta plus 53.1 is minus 1, so the sine of theta plus 53.1 is minus a fifth. So we need to work out the values that we're after here. Um, again, this question said at the start that theta was between minus 180 and 180 degrees. So, if we do Inverse sine of minus a fifth on our calculator. It says minus 11.5. <coughs> minus 11.54, actually says. Again, thanks for that. Uh, if we now think about what other values that gives us, we go to the cast diagram. <laughs> Well done, Josh, for not doing that yet. Yeah. Is there a useful 